everyone from the Lutz Academy, Jared Couture here again, and we are here to bring you another amazing guitar lesson, right? So today's topic, the musical alphabet. And truly, this is one of the most fundamental and important theoretical pieces of information that you can learn. If you're going to learn any part of theory, this is probably the number one thing you want to actually learn. So before we dive right in, I just want to say one thing that's a part of this lesson, is that music is a language, right? Now, in any language, if you know the alphabet, it's going to be much easier to understand and to speak the language, to pronounce the words properly, to hear what people are saying to you, right? And music is exactly the same way. When you know the alphabet, it's a lot easier to hear, to understand, to navigate when you're playing, you know, to communicate with other musicians. It's just, it's really going to help the development of your musicianship in general, and it's going to help you speak the language of music much better, all right? So I hope that excites you to learn this information, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's see how this thing works, right? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and do this, all right? So about the musical alphabet, there are three things that you have to memorize in this lesson and memorize them right away. I'm going to tell you and then we're going, to, we're going to dive into it a little more and by the end you will for sure memorize this and know it. So the first thing is this, the musical alphabet has seven letters that we use, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And they're not in any particular order, so you should be able to say this backwards too. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And be able to do that from any note, let's say you start from C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. You know, you should be able to do this from any note, forwards or backwards. You can do this in your free time anytime. Just think about it. All right? So that's your first, <laughs> that's the first assignment. Be able to do that. Next, all right? So we have seven letters, but we have a total of 12 notes in music. Now, how does that happen? Well, we have sharps and we have flats, right? I'm sure you guys have heard of sharps and flats. So, in between all of the letter names, except for a one pa uh, two pairs, we have what's called a half step. We have an accidental. So we have a letter in between two letters. So from A to B, we have A sharp. So A, A sharp, B, right? And if you were going backwards, you could also call that same sound B flat. So in this case, is, here's A open, right? The A string, so A, now, how it works on the guitar is the very next fret is the very next note. So A sharp would be the very first fret. <clears throat> now if I go one more fret higher, that's B. If I go backwards, I could also say this is B, B flat. And B flat and A sharp are the same thing. And you'll know later on when it's appropriate to call them either, right? So you have options. All right, and then A. That's just one example. So just know that every note has a letter name in between it, except for two special pairs. This is the third thing to remember. In between the notes B and C, so B and C are one pair, the next pair is E and F. So in between those notes, B and C and E and F, we do not have an accidental, which is the note in between the notes. B goes directly to C, it's a half step away, and E goes directly to F, and vice versa if you're going backwards. All right, so those are the three things to know and remember. Uh, we have seven letter names, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We have actually 12 notes because we have accidentals, the notes in between. And the third thing to remember is there's those two pairs. You have to memorize this, and I'm sure we'll mess with you just a little bit. But B and C and E and F do not have a half step in between them. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to play the chromatic scale. So we're going to play from A on this A string, so have your guitar, and we're going to play all the way to the octave, to the next A, and we're going to play backwards. We're going to do it first using sharps, going up, when we're ascending, meaning going higher in pitch. We're ascending. Descending is going down, going lower in pitch, all right? <clears throat> so let's do this, and by the end you will for sure get this. So here we go. A is the first note. The very next note is A sharp, right? Why? Because in between A, <laughs> because there's always an accidental after everything except for those two pairs. So if we go one more, we've got B, alright? 
Mm. Now if we go one more, what do we have? Huh? We have C. Why? Because B and C is one of those special pairs that does not have a note in between it. Now, everything else has one. So C is the third fret of the A string. And also, you use the dots to help you see this stuff. That's why there's dots on the guitar. It helps us navigate. It's like the black notes on the piano. It's exactly the same concept. It helps us see where we are. Anyway, so third fret, we're on C. Now, a half step higher than that is C sharp. Right? Because everything has a half step in between it, except for those two pairs. A half step higher is D. Right? Now we're on D, so a half step higher is D sharp. A half step higher than D sharp is E. Now we're at E, right? That's the special pair. So we go directly to F. So F. Here we are on F on the eighth fret. <clears throat> Up one half step is F sharp. Up one half step is G. Up one half step now is G sharp. And now we hit the double dots, the twelfth fret, the octave A. <laughs> step higher is now A. Now, if you notice, most guitars do have uh, two dots on the 12th fret. Some have one, and if you uh, have a classical guitar, you may not have dots at all. But most guitars do have two dots, and that is because that's the octave. This is the A string, right? 12 frets higher, 12 notes in music, right? 12 frets higher, we're at our octave. We're back at A, a higher frequency, but the same sound, right? The same note. Now it's the same for all the strings. This is D string, 12 frets higher. Of course, we're at D again because it's 12 notes of music. G, 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 A, 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 A. Right? So it works like that for all of them. So what we just did is we said the chromatic scale from A to A. A, B sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Now let's go backwards. We have to be able to go backwards, and this time, since we're descending, let's say flats going down. All right. So we're going to say flats every time now, so you understand both. So here's A. Now backwards, one half step lower is going to be A flat. So we make it flat. We flat. One half step lower than that is G. One half step lower than G is G flat. Half step lower is F. Now here's that special pair, right? So F goes directly to E. So here we are at E, seventh fret. Um, now E flat. We go down to D. We go to D flat. Uh, we go to C. Now we're at this special pair again, so C goes directly to B. Right? And B goes to B flat. Up using sharps, down using flats. That's the first thing I want you to practice, all right? Doing that on your own. Now, the next thing to do, which is even a little easier, is doing only natural notes, which means no sharps or flats. Now, here's a really easy and fast way to think about this, so you can do it without really having to think so much, is that everything is a whole step away, right? It's gonna be two frets away from each other. A whole step is two frets. So, let's say we're on the second fret, a whole step up is on the fourth fret, right? That's two frets. A half step would just be directly next to it. So from second fret to third. So half step, whole step. So everything is a whole step away from each other except for B and C and E and F. Right? So they're a half step away, but everything else is a whole step. That's going to be easier. So now if we did um, natural notes, A, we go a whole step to B. We're just going to use only naturals. A whole step to B. Remember, don't get confused though by the open uh, strings. If there was more fretboard, you, this would be a fret here. So it's not the first one. A whole step away, we skip to the second fret. So A to B. Now, B goes directly to C, so just a half step. C to D is a whole step, right? D to E is a whole step. E to F is a half step. G to A, uh, F to G, excuse me, F to G is a whole step. G to A is a whole step, right? Going backwards, A, going down to G, it's a whole step, down to F, whole step, half step to E, because they were, were at E and F, whole step down to D, whole step down to C, half step down to B, whole step down to A. So you can do it.
right, so I hope you do understand everything I'm saying. Um, so we've, we've, done, we've, we've, we've done all the three things that we talked about, right? We put it on the instrument now. You can see how it works. And one way I'd recommend to practice is exactly what I just did. Well, first I would say maybe do chromatic. Say the names out loud. Actually look at your, where those notes are on the instrument. Say them out loud as you're doing it. Sing them if you can. It's going to be the best, like I just did. Um, sing with them to hear the actual sound of a half step and a whole step and all that stuff. Up and down using the chromatic. That means using sharps and flats first. The second time, do it um, only natural notes. That's what I recommend. And for every single string, all right? So now let's go ahead and check out another string to see how it works. So very simple. Everything is exactly the same. Let's go ahead and we'll move to the D string. So then we're on the D string now. But here's the deal, this is D. So what's the very next note in the, in the chromatic alphabet? Very next note after D, higher than D. Huh? <laughs> I don't hear you. <laughs> Just kidding. But it's D sharp, right? D goes directly to D sharp on the first fret. If you were thinking E, E is on the second fret. Why? Because we have a note in between it, right? So D to E is on the second fret. So let's go ahead and try this one out. So D goes directly to D sharp. Then goes directly to E. That's our pair. So E goes directly to F. Third fret. F goes to F sharp. F sharp goes to G. G goes to G sharp. G sharp goes to A. A goes to A sharp. A sharp goes to B. B goes to C, right? That's our special pair. C goes to C sharp. C sharp goes to D. And we have hit the octave. We can keep going. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, if we wanted to. Let's go back to the 12th fret. All right, so now we're going to go backwards and we're going to use flat. So D goes to D flat. Goes to C. Special pair, so just to B. No accidental. B goes to B flat. B flat goes to A, A goes to A flat, A flat goes to G, G goes to G flat, G flat goes to F, F goes to E, right? E goes to E flat, and we're back to D. So one last time now, just natural, so D, a whole step to E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, Whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, right? Now backwards, D, 